All right, so because my run cam for some strange reason will not focus when I have it in close to something, um, kind of like my phone is doing right now, <laughs> which pisses me off. It's just weird that you have to mess around with it so much to get it to focus. Um, don't know what's up with the run cam, but I figured I would just do this kind of quick video um, for anybody that really needed to see some of the things that I showed on my other video about the Sputnik um, that you couldn't quite see because it was blurry. So let me try to get this unblurry and uh, show you a few things. So uh, I'll show you all the pins since you couldn't see them on the other video. For the Afro Mini. Um, you have the two up here and the four across here. These are for powering the Afro Mini and these are your motor signals. So up top here on motor one where it says one, um, you have your ground, middle is five volt, bottom is signal. And that's motor signal one. Motor signal two, motor signal three, motor signal four. Okay, and you just have those, those are just pins that you're gonna stick in the tiny PDB, solder it to the bottom. And then when you stick your Afro Mini on top, you can trim off the excess pin and then solder it down. Um, that's it for the top part of the Afro. You're not gonna be using any of this other stuff. Um, unless you plan, unless you need like a you might be able to use these as a five volt and ground for powering something else. Maybe, I'm not sure exactly, but you probably can. Um, down here at the bottom is where the FTDI and the UART2, this is the UART2 right here. You got TX, this open one is ground, RX, and then this one is signal. And, uh, Going across here, this is for your FTDI. It's the signal, five volt. This one's open, it's a ground. I just have a blob of solder there, but there, it's not hooked up to anything. And then um, TX and RX. So it's just those four. Signal, five volt, TX, RX. And just like the other ones, you stick the pins in the tiny PDB, solder it from the bottom, which is really simple. All you have to do is stick your soldering iron on the pin and then kind of push solder down towards the bottom and it'll just melt right in. Really easy. And then um, stick the afro on, trim off the extra pin, and then solder it down on top. Now you don't want to solder it down on top until you're sure that you're done with everything underneath. Uh, otherwise you're going to be having huge problems trying to take that off. If you do attempt to take it off, you're going to end up ripping these pads out. And then the Afro Mini will just be garbage. And then down right below that, it says it on the tiny PDB that this is for the FTDI. And it's four pins. All you got to do is just stick four pins in there solder it from the bottom and just leave it. What? Good job. Um, each corner and this is just like a if when it's sitting on the frame how it's supposed to be it's just how it is in clean flight where motor one is the bottom right then motor two then motor three and motor four. Uh, so that's how it is for your ESCs. You got your power and ground for the ESC right here and it says plus and minus on it so you know what's what and then this little one right here next to it is the signal and it says one two three four on the bottom of the tiny PDB so you know what's what okay um, other things that I'm not using that I might use, but I'm just not at the moment, is your beeper pad and your VBAT pad. And then right here you got these little ones. 
the square one is uh, for like programmable LEDs and on the bottom you got your Pololu uh, and it goes just how you see it um, if this is the top you can flip it over to the side the Pololu kind of points up but it's on the bottom side so like all the electronic stuff is looks like it's inside of it you know that's how it sets then you got your three pins voltage in ground voltage out and it says it on the tiny PDB so you can't mess that up just line it up and um, what I did was you can do it either way you can stick the pins in the tiny PDB and solder it and then just stick this on and solder it or put the pins on the polo first and then stick it in the tiny PDB it doesn't really matter and trim off the excess pin and you're good to go there um, my advice which I would do next time is I would put the Pololu right here where the minimum OSD would go if you're not going to use a minimum OSD and then that frees up a lot of space underneath and then you could probably do it completely different than me you could probably use the stock standoffs and be able to put the VTX on the bottom instead of the top but I guess it doesn't really matter it's not a big deal you can see I sh shortened up the XT30 quite a bit it's almost to the tiny PDB and that just makes it a lot easier for plugging in um, when you got your battery on the bottom it's you know the plug is just gonna go right up and plug in to the tiny PDB instead of having this huge long wire wrapping around hanging out of the back and stuff so that's what I found to be easiest so I hope this helps somebody if it helps just one person then i'll be happy um let's see if there's anything else um i guess just comment if there's anything else that you couldn't see on the other video and i can either answer it for you or maybe possibly do another video um i did hear one thing about this um, that if you crash it a lot or hard, um, there's a potential to break the tiny PDB without even just kind of like getting stress cracks and stuff like that. Just stressing it. If it even bends just a little bit, I guess supposedly it, it breaks pretty easy. So I was trying to figure out a way around that maybe. I was thinking of like using epoxy across the whole bottom of it or something, but um, this is going to be for a customer of mine, so we'll just see how it does with him. I know he likes to crash a lot, so it'll really put it to the test. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, just comment with any questions, and uh, thank you for watching.